Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to create validation rules in Zoho CRM. So once you log into your Zoho CRM system, of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in order to add validation rules, what we need to do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner, but do ensure you have administrative permissions. So I press the cog and then from here we want to go to customization and then under customization go to modules and fields. So I press that and then as you can see here we have all our modules inside of the Zoho CRM system. We can add validation rules for any module, so take your pick. I'm going to use the contacts module as our example today, but they do work exactly the same. So I press contacts and then up the top here I'm going to go to the tab validation rules. So I press that and as you can see we've not got any validation, rule, validation rules, but in order to create a new one just press the new validation rule button on the right hand side here. Press that and then we need to select the field that we'd like to validate. So obviously we've got all our fields inside of the contacts module. I'm going to use the phone as an example today. So I'll just search phone and then I will add phone here. So we're going to validate, we want to validate the phone field and we can either validate using criteria or using a function. I'm not going to go into functions today. I've not got any written and they are very complicated. So I'm just going to stick to the using criteria validation. So leave that selected and then press the next button. So I press that and then we need to specify the criteria that we want to validate this particular field. So in this instance, I'm going to use the 11 digits. So in the UK, we our phone numbers are 11 digits long um, and I want to ensure that the user is adding 11 digits exactly, not one more, not one less to ensure that the phone number is accurate. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the drop down menu and then scroll down to number of characters and then select equals, which is automatically selected. But as you can see, equals to less than, more than, equal to more than, etc. So we've got a number of options there, but I'm just going to select 11. Press done. And then as you can see here, the validation rule is that the phone number is equal to 11 digits. And then we can select whether this rule will be applied for all records. So what we can do if we wanted to change that is press a dotted button on the right hand side here, press edit, and then we can select um, all records or choose based on specific conditions. So you might want to do this if you, let, let's say as an example for the phone number, we've got mailing country as our as a field and is equal to, and then we could say England. So we only want to use this validation rule when the mailing country is equal to England because we know that in England um, there are the phone numbers are equal to 11 digits. So you could add that. I'm not going to in this example, but you can get really clever with it. Uh, I'll just press the cancel button there. And then finally, we need to set an alert message. So this is for the user just to prompt them what's wrong. So not containing uh, 11 digits. And would will be the pop-up message when a user tries to add a phone number that is equal to less or more than 11 digits and then finally we need to set when we execute our rule so do we want to execute this rule when criteria is met or is not met so we can flip it entirely on its head in this instance we want to execute this rule uh, or this validation rule when the criteria is not met However, you can do the opposite. So it's really clever, really powerful stuff, this validation rule, uh, ensuring that the data going into the system is always accurate. Once you're happy with your validation rule, just press the save button. It will automatically be active, and then I'm gonna demonstrate what it looks like now. So if we head over to the contacts module, I'm then gonna create a new contact. Um, I'm gonna call the contact last name test, and then I'm gonna give the phone number four digits, or less four digits there we go then i'm going to attempt to press the save button and as you can see here the validation rule has prompted me and told me after we've entered in the information not containing 11 digits so if i now go and put 11 digits into the phone number and then press the save button you can see that the new record saves perfectly and that is how to use validation rules inside of your Zoho CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to create validation rules in Zoho CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.